Hi, my name is Gary Bosco, and I'm here at Studio Center in Miami, Florida today, and I'd like to see you take some strides in your music today. I want to see you take some strides in your music career, and I want to see you get forward. And that's what artist development is about. Artist development is taking a hard look at like where you are, where you're going, and what you're up to in the industry to make sure that everything you're doing has a purpose and make sure that everything you're doing for your art is about moving yourself ahead to where you want to be. So this video that I'm making as a gift to you, it's for someone who's a fledgling recording artist who's just doing some writing or dabbling on their own, or somebody who's already assigned and has procured a deal with a major label. This video is about clarity. Clarity of your dreams and making your dreams happen. Um, being a, an engineer and a music producer for 15 years in the industry, I also do artist coaching and development as well, consultation. I ask an artist two questions, two questions, when I first meet them. And depending on how they answer these questions, I can really ascertain where they are with their, in terms of how clear they are on their dream and whether I want to invest some of my heart and some of my time and some of my resources in seeing them succeed. Two questions. And i got to tell you, this is a challenge because most of the time I ask these questions, I get this deer-in-the-headlights look when I ask these questions. And here are the questions. Question number one, what are you about as an artist? Question number two, what is it that you want? What do you want to achieve? Okay, these may seem like simple questions, but the, the roots are much, much deeper than that. When you meet anyone on the street, anyone that could be from a potential fan a potential supporter, a potential investor, a potential angel that could take your career from here to the top to where you want to go. You need to be really clear because no one wants to put any time into someone who's not clear on something. Um, and by you taking a look at this and taking a really hard look, you can also bring more people that believe in you because you are clear about what you want. So let's take each question at a time and, let, and let's ask some more questions that will maybe bring this and stimulate you to start thinking in terms of, of being clear about what you want so you get what you want. What are you about as an artist? Anytime you have a chance to enter into a dialogue with anyone, someone you meet on the street, a family member, someone in the industry, you have the chance of making a more solid foundation developing a more solid foundation about who you are and why you're doing music, what performing for audience means to you, what writing means to you, what you want to bring to the world or to your fans or potential fans with your music. It's a chance to, to enroll people in what you're about and what you're after as far as your art goes. It's a chance to show another person or group of people your strong sense of uniqueness as an artist, and that's what it's all about. So, if you haven't thought about this, this is a good opportunity for you to sit down for a moment and start just making a list, like, what am I about as an artist? What can I convey in a minute or less, like, what I'm about and who, who where the passion comes from that's gonna, that I want to instill in every person I meet. So. That's what I want to hear when I meet with someone or any of the other producers I work with. We want to know that this person knows who they're about. They have a strong sense of foundation. Um, I make a great analogy with this. If you were to meet your soulmate tomorrow, or may maybe you've already met your soulmate, and your soulmate asked you, what are you about? And you said, well, I don't know. I just know I want to be an artist, or I just want to be with you. What are you conveying to them? You're not conveying a real strong sense of self. You're not conveying a real strong sense of substance. And this person gets to look at you and say, why do I want to invest time or my life or my dreams in someone who feels unstable? So if someone has a chance to ask you what your dream is about, who are you in that dream, you need to step up to bat and be there for that. Okay? And, and, and don't just do this for them. 
Do this for you. Get a clear sense of self. And when you, when you get this in your mind, who you are, I'm about inspiring courage in others. Or I'm about taking a place of inspiration in me. I'm inspired by the, the lyrics I write or the music. And I want to put it out there to the world because God has touched me. Or maybe some other sense of spirituality has touched you. Or maybe you want to bring anarchy to the world. Like, but whoever you are, take a strong stand for it, okay? What is it you want? How can someone in the industry, a distributor, some, a venue owner, the head of a record label, how can any of these people help you get to a location if you don't know where you want to go? So if you're not really clear, you know I'm doing music for myself, so what's really important to me is I just want to play for as many people as possible. Or, you know, I want to sell as many records because it's important that I get my music out there and many people hear it because I want to inspire something in them. Or, I want to be rich. I want to be a star. Whatever it is for you, it doesn't matter what it is. What is more important is that you are able to say it with absolute clarity and certainty. Okay? Um, many people experience life in a very cynical way. They look at people around them as very self-centered. They look at people around them as very self-serving. And you know something? That's not my experience in life. My experience is that people want to help you get to where you want to go. My experience is that people want to help you and support you in what you want. Now tell me something. How can they do that if you're not sure about where you want to go? Next time you're lost, I'll bet 9 out of 10 strangers will take more than 3 to 4 to 5 minutes to explain to you and give you absolute directions on where you want to go because you know where you want to go. If you need to find the nearest gas station, 9 out of 10 people, strangers, will come to your aid and be there for you. And they don't even know you. But they do know that confidence and commitment comes from knowing where you want to go. So, I put this challenge at you. Know where you want to go. You want others to invest in you. You want others to believe in you. You want others to have certainty and faith in you. Start by having faith in yourself. And again, answer these two questions for yourself. Who am I in terms of being an artist? What, are, what you're about, your substance, and where is it you want to go? If you can answer those two things, you're off to a really, really amazing start. Okay? Uh, I want to thank you for joining me today. This has been really fun. I hope you got something out of this. I hope you take what we said really seriously. I hope that what you do, it's my absolute hope, that you write down, write it down. Writing is commitment. Thinking about it in your head and, and wrapping your head around it all day and just internalizing, that's beautiful and that's great. But like write it down, put it up as many times as you can see. Commit, once, once you have it, once you have these two questions answered, commit to saying it as much as possible. So there's no stuttering involved, and there's no pattering about. You just know, this is who I am, and this is where I'm going. And say it to yourself enough. Now, if you change your mind about where you're going, that's fine. I once heard this analogy that a ship, most of the time it leaves the port, it's going in the wrong direction. But it takes so much energy to turn this huge, enormous ship to another direction that it has to start moving forward first. Take a stand. Answer the questions. Move forward. And as you move forward in a direction, you'll become clearer about the direction you should be headed in. Don't be afraid to say, I changed my mind about this, but I really thought, I, I really uh, have come to some new intelligence. I've learned some things in the music industry, and now I want something different. But today, Write these things down. Put them up all over the house. This is who I am. This is what I stand for. This is where I want to go. And I'm going to have another video for you in a few weeks. And we're going to continue this course along. In the meantime, free. My, my um, email address is pop up on the screen. Feel free to write to me. Um, also have um, consultation time. And some private time for me to spend with you on your career. Again, thank you. I wish you the best of luck. You chose, it was a hard uphill challenge being an artist, but you know,
there are not many like you. So walk that walk and walk it tall.